Hey there, Internet. So I actually made a whole video on making this thing. Uh, I, I had made a solar pendulum in the past, and uh, it was really, you know, my usual MO. It was like clamps and nasty-looking plywood and different things. So I decided I was going to make a video about uh, uh, essentially, uh, you know, the construction of this out of scrap parts. And while it turned out okay, there was a bunch of problems. I mean, the main problem is this cantilever design. Uh, I don't think is the best way to make it adjustable, but um, that's a long story. But uh, it got me on a sidetrack, which is I only had one of these big capacitors. And I, uh, I watched a video by, uh, I think it's Rexstar Org, um, where he made an a electrolytic capacitor with aluminum foil and sodium bicarbonate. And I made one of those. I was able, I was able to get it to, I, I think the the final result was something like three millifarads, which is actually pretty good for a homemade capacitor. Um, unfortunately, it's in, I'm in Seattle. It's wintertime. It's raining. It's overcast. And the solar panel is not actually powering <laughs> the device right now. So my demonstration was... It's, it was, it's been running all day, but uh, it just seemed to have petered out just now. But anyway, so I made that capacitor, and then I was looking at, uh, there's a bunch of material on YouTube about graphene capacitors, and I was trying to figure out how to make graphene, so I watched a bunch of videos on making graphene. N none of it really seemed accessible, um, but I did see one, maybe the most accessible one was by Thought Emporium, and what he did was use some graphene foil, and essentially um, electrochemical exfoliation of the graphene. So I remembered that I had some pencil leads and uh, I also did some research, read a few papers and saw that um, somebody had actually done used sodium bicarbonate, which you know I have here. I don't have any nitric acid or uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't really have the chemicals that most of the methods have, but I did, you know, obviously I have baking soda. So uh, what I did is I set up a little experiment and it actually seems to be working. So I'll take you over to that and you can just have a quick look and um, I'll explain how, how it's set up and, and maybe I'm producing some multilayer graphene. Maybe I'm just uh, making some fine particles of, of graphite. So this is my setup here. Um, I've got... Uh, I don't know, about a t tablespoon of sodium bicarbonate dissolved into this water here. And just a, just a, a pinch of uh, table salt. And I tried it without the table salt and it didn't really seem to be doing anything. But um, interestingly, when the, re when the voltage gets about 7.5 to 8.5 volts, the, um, the pencil lead starts to... Uh, come apart into very 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 fine pieces and um, the pencil lead I'm using here is just some stuff I had in my toolbox this is polymer lead which I have no idea what that is but I'm assuming there's some kind of a polymer binder for the graphite and um, it seems to be working pretty good now I'm gonna pull this positive electrode out. The negative electrode nothing is really happening to. But if I focus on this, you can see that it's 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 just coming apart right there at the end. And um, as I put that into the solution, that's got about 5.5 5 .5 volts and 0.1 amps. So if you look at the solution, uh, it's 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 got a definite dark tint so here's I'm just using tap water so here's uh, for comparison what the tap water looks like now I tested the conductivity of the tap water and it's something like from from one side of this container to the other side it's something like two mega ohms resistance if I measure the resistance of the solution it's about 44 K you can see I've got some big chunks now, if the voltage is the, if the voltage is too high, it just blows these really big chunks off of here. So those are obviously not going to be any good for 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 graphene production. 
But what I'm hopeful is, is that, is that as I dissolve this, this down, and I don't want to have the whole pencil let in there because, um, actually I'll show you a, a big piece that blew off. So here's a, a really fine little piece that came off of there and uh, you know, there's really no way to hold on to it. So I, th I think the way it, it's, it's, it's a bit slow and painful, but the way to do this is just to dip the very end in a little bit at, the, at a time. Now the less, the, the less of the pencil lead that's in the solution, the higher the voltage gets. So as it dissolves away, the, the voltage actually goes up and it starts to blow apart quite a bit more quickly. So we'll see. I, I'm going to try to um, get a whole second. I've already got one pencil lead. Probably three quarters of a pencil lead has been um, exfoliated, if that's what's actually happening. I'm not sure. I'm going to try to get the second one done. And then uh, I'm going to try to figure out a way to, to separate this. I think I think... I'm not really sure. I, I might reduce it down with some heat and then uh, try to centrifuge it out. So again, um, it's sodium bicarbonate with a little bit of table salt. Uh, let me know if you think that this actually is doing the uh, exfoliation or not, or something else is happening. But uh, the color looks, either I have some, some pretty darn small particles or I might actually be getting some, some multi-layer graphene production in the solution. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.